television set. It might seem to be a prison, a holding pen of the imagination. But within it lies a key, a key that unlocks the creative madness of a select group of filmmakers. These filmmakers represent a new breed, born of the wind and the dust that distinguishes their home. For your consideration, The Dust Wave Show. Ups and downs. The path of a human life is a lot like that of the path of an elevator. Up, then down, and then back up again if you're lucky. In our next account, we follow a hero of sorts who encounters a struggle of sorts with mixed results. I wonder, dear viewer, if you can handle the ups and downs of life, and if in the more immediate, you can handle the ups and downs of Blood Dreamer. Name, please. Grima Nepes. Have you consumed any unauthorized water since your last visit to the tear bank? No, I haven't. Date of last ocular secretion? That was yesterday, April 4th. Do you have the secretion on your person? You may proceed. Good morning, citizens. Today is April 5th. It has been 467 days since our last rainfall. Thank you for contributing your moisture for the good of your country. Please proceed in an orderly fashion to the tear bank and have your captured secretions ready for collection. Boy, the old tear banks were really hopping today, huh? This is my 2033rd visit to the bank. We kept a week for 40 years. Hard to believe, huh? My name's Keith, by the way. Grandma. I'm really in for it today. I couldn't make cry this morning at home. So now I'm in for the old tear induction rigmarole. Hey, those are mine. Couldn't cry either, huh? No. 
I've never been able to cry. I always found some way to play their game, get the tears, until today. Maybe I don't want to cry. It's always been this. I can't even feel. For years, I worked as a tour guide for them at the National Museum of Moisture. Every day I'd rehearse their stories, how the nation and all the citizens came together to conserve moisture, and how the government, with their tear laws, helped save us from the drought. And life has never been better. <laughs> but I'm an old man, and I remember lots of things. I remember rivers and puddles and how the clouds piled up so high during the monsoons. When I was a little boy, and this is still so clear to me, <laughs> I took baths. I mean, I let the water pour into the tub and I stayed in for as long as I wanted. And, and, and I remembered how cold it was when I climbed up out of the tub and the air hit my back. All that is gone. But it's still more real to me than whatever this is supposed to be. Grima, I hope you find that someday, too. Keith Stemwinder. Up next, a word from our friends at Red Pillow. Does your partner have trouble sleeping, tossing, turning, snoring, and annoying the holy shit out of you? I hate it here. Then you need to check out Red Pillow! Hi, I'm George Barrio, inventor of Red Pillow. Just like you, my wife had a hard time sleeping. We tried everything and nothing worked. Melatonin, relaxing music, opiates. We thought it was a lost cause. I invented Red Pillow five years ago. It took me a year to develop it. It supports any partner's unique sleep position, no matter how annoying. When the pillow turns red, you know it's working. Whoa! And when you're done, we made sure to make Red Pillow machine washable, so you can use it as many times as you need to. Red Pillow is a miracle. My wife's sleeping like she's never slept before. In fact, she still hasn't woken up. I so what are you waiting for? Order yours today. But wait! If you order in the next 10 minutes, you'll get two Red Pillows for the price of one. Perfect for restless children. So take action and give your partner the sleep they deserve. Forever. Just like you, my wife had a tr Damn it, why can't they- <laughs> Damn it, I cut right there. Got it. <laughs> and now for some irregular programming.
In just one moment, you, dear audience, will experience a captivating story, so replete with twists and turns no living being could fathom. Our story begins with a investigative reporter learns about the horror of bioprosthesis and conducts an intense investigation. It concludes with a horrifying but familiar discovery. We present to you Gumshoe. Prosthesis, known to be more advanced than prosthetics by utilizing muscle memory. But it comes with a price that's really not worth going out on a limb for. We'll be right back. Nailed it! Good luck on your big piece, sweetie. Heard that they were gonna give it to Darren, but Darren covers sports. Hey. You know I love you, Darren. Rookie ass. Nice shoes. <laughs> I thought I was a callous soul. We should be covering that story, not her. Look, I don't know. I just... I think we should keep our heads down. You wouldn't be anywhere without me, gumshoe. Here are the leads. I noticed something in there about mismatched ears, but if Jazz finds out, I'm dead. This could be our big break. All right. All right, let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. I owe you candy. Are you here for the insurance? Actually, I'm here to talk to you about your prosthetic surgery. I want to talk about that. So your penis was stolen, and now you're experiencing ghost orgasms. Yeah, I was just trying to have a fun night out, you know, go clubbing. Uh, but I met this hot chick, and you know, she had all these crazy body modifications, you know, three titties. It was kind of crazy, but I was like, yeah, I gotta bag this chick. You know, the music was pumping, and one thing led to the next, and I was at her house. I woke up, my dick was gone. Okay. This is kind of crazy. This, this stuff has got to stop. Like, how could you just wake up with no dick? I don't know. How has that experience been for you? Do you need a picture? Like... No, no. That won't be necessary. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Sorry. So... If I'm able to talk to you, do you think his old dick talks to its new owner? Stop it. Hey, I was just wondering. So tell me what happened to your eye. I sold my eye. I needed the money. The vision started after I got the new one. That's when I started seeing limbs and body parts. And how often are you seeing these visions? All the time. They don't stop. And are you able to locate them? Like, do you know where they're taking place? I'm seeing a warehouse in the North Valley. Tell me what you know about bioprosthesis. I don't know anything about that. What do you care? It's him. How do you know? I feel it. <laughs> nice. Tell me where you got that eye. Not to tell you anything. You ain't that stupid eerie. Ah, 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 okay, okay, he, he's inside, he's right inside. Ah. 
Damn, I need another foot. There's something missing here. <laughs> you can't come in here. This is a restricted area. Yeah, but well, what you're doing is illegal. You monster, you've been mutilating all of us. But you're going to pay. The authorities are coming. Oh, no. no, 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 you're ruining me. No, 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 no. He, he wanted it. He, he was compensated for it. Oh, my God. Let me feel him. Why? I need to feel him. Take off the shoe. Please, let me feel him. <laughs> Sarita, this is my body. This is my body. What do you mean? Is that what this has all been about? That's why you wanted to work on this case? Yes, but this potato sack sold the rest of his body off. I wanted to be reunited. Victor, I'm sorry. Look, I know it's tough to get along and we didn't choose each other. We're in this together. You know, you're right. You're not so bad, gumshoe. Hi, Sarita. Hi, Victor. I guess I don't mind being attached to you, gumshoe. And now for a word from our friends at Vital Life. It's, yeah, it's a hard no. We're just trying to sell chips, man. Have you considered not doing this again? And now for some messages and a word from, I don't know, hang on, sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
What is this? As of this morning, the sole owner of your uncle's estate. The whole thing? The whole thing? <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry you're still for your uncle's will, but everything goes to the fish. I don't believe it. Try to see the humor in all of this. After all, he was an eccentric. Humor? <laughs> don't worry. It all falls to you after the little guppy goes belly up. That's better news. You should have led with that. How long can a fish last, I wonder? <clears throat> ah. <laughs> Mildred? Melvin. And you are? <clears throat> Melvin. My name is Melvin. He is the witness to the will. He was with your uncle when he passed. You worked for my uncle, Melvin? Yes. Um, yes, ma'am. In what capacity? I, um, I fed his fish. Of course. I'm sorry? What can be done about it? I'm afraid you're going to have to hold out until our uh, aquatic friend here... You get the point. The will was very clear. Like you said, how long could a fish last? <laughs> um, ordinarily, a fish like this one can live around 10 to 15 years. I've been taking care of him for five, but... 15 years? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't... I am going to die waiting for this fish to die. A little dramatic. No. Dramatic. He gave all of it, all of it to a fish. Nothing for me. Is it selfish to wish it were dead? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I'm I... floundering. Hardly. Oh no. He. Oh no. Well, that settles that. How fortunate. Fortunate. Should we hammer out the details of the estate? After you. I think we fooled them. <laughs>